we are going to talk about shape. So shape, I already started one and somebody called me during this. So shape on one side, an enclosed space that has length and width. And on the other side of our artist trading card, we will start drawing. So I started with the geometric shapes, so square, I did a star, I did a triangle, I did a circle, pentagon, and I do have references over here. I'm looking at a cheat sheet off the good old internet. Now this is pretty boring, and this is bad composition. You have a lot of negative space and things. So I'm going to start repeating these shapes. So I'm gonna take my circle and repeat it up here. You can do half circles, have it go off the page. Let's do a circle right there. Then I'm gonna do some diamonds. Anytime I say diamond now, I think a guy diamond from Trolls. Because little kids. That's what we've done this summer. Let's watch lots of movies. All right. Uh, let's do some stars. And so we're just overlapping our shapes. And then later, we will color them in and make it look really, really cool. Let's see, let's do a bottom of a star. Now, I want to emphasize on every video, you do not have to be perfect. We use erasers for a reason. And really, if you just do a lot in the space of your composition, you nobody will notice your imperfections, only you. And we have to learn to accept that we are not perfect much as I want to be. That looks pretty cool. It kind of made a weird pattern here. Fill up that negative space. And I think that's good. So these are geometric shapes. You could also do something similar. Um, I already had one started because a telemarketer was calling me in the middle of this. So here's the one I started earlier. I'm going to take my pencil and do some organic shapes in the middle of here. And there's no rhyme or reason for organic shapes. You have to be a lot loose, a lot looser with your fingers. Sometimes it's therapeutic though to not really worry about perfection. All right, so. Both of these are good examples for shape. Then I'm going to color it in. And that's going to be a different video. So your goal for today, Monday, August 31st, is to have a line trading card done and a shape trading card done. On the opposite side, I do want you to put the name of the vocab element and its definition. So on August 31st, line and shape trading card is due. Take a picture of it and upload it to assignments on Canvas.